and welcome back to a new video focused on making Edwardian chemise. After a long time, I will show you step by step how to sew a simple Edwardian chemise which was favorite undergarment of many Edwardian women. On the internet you can find many variations of the chemise and from observing many of those chemises and with the help of this book Making Edwardian Costumes for Women by Susan Rowland which I highly recommend I finally use this simple pattern of trapezoidal shape. I achieved this shape by measuring the circumference of the bust and hips. I added 10 cm to the measured value of the circumference of the bust and 20 cm to the value of the hips and then I divided all two values by 2. Then I measured a line with the value of the bust and constructed perpendicular exactly in the middle of this line. Then I measured the height between the bust and the hips and I applied this value to the perpendicular. Here make another line with the value of the hips. Depending on how you want the chemise to be long, measure down from the hips perpendicular another perpendicular, which will represent the bottom hem. Finally, join the ends of the perpendiculars on the both sides and you have a simple pattern. Of course, I use a cotton canvas as a material and I would recommend using a softer tip with a lower weight, for example a voile. Then use a lace to decorate chemise, because what kind of Edwardian clothes would it be without lace? And to be historically accurate, I also use cotton thread. So now, let's get into the sewing process. Lay down pattern on the fabric and add 2 cm around the raw edges for seam allowances. Cut out the front and back pieces. Then cut a strip 15 cm wide and about 150 cm long for the lower ruffle. Then one strip 15 cm wide and about same length as the bottom edge of the chemise. And two pieces of stripes about 8 cm wide and 35 cm long for the chemise straps. The length of the strap is very individual, so you will then have to adjust it to your own needs. Pin the long edges of the front and back and then sew it together on your sewing machine. To finish the seam, use flat felt seam, which was in Edwardian era mainly reserved for undergarment. Cut away one seam allowance to be 5 mm wide and fold the remaining seam allowance down and then fold it in half, tucking the raw edges under. Press, now use whip stitches to separate the layers together. The disadvantage of this seam finish is that it is visible on the right side, so it's not really good seam for a skirt or bodice. On the right side of the top of the chemise, about 1 cm from the raw edges, pin the lace and then use your sewing machine to sew lace and fabric together. The end of the lace fall in half, tucking the raw edges under, then sew it together. After sewing the lace to the fabric, turn the seam allowance over the raw edges of the lace and then sew it together with overcast stitches. Now repeat the same procedure and add the lace to the bottom edge of the chemise and then sew the bottom strip for the ruffle to the other edge of the lace. After we have finished sewing the lace, iron the seams. In the next step, we will make the ruffle. Pin the short side of the ruffle together and join the ends with a French seam. Make a thin double folded hem, fold the bottom edge of the ruffle fabrics towards the wrong side of the fabric twice and then sew it on your sewing machine. Gather the top of the ruffle and pin the ruffle under the bottom edge of the lace, then sew it together on your sewing machine. Make a thin double folded hem on the bottom of the chemise. Now it's time to make straps. Pin and then sew alongside of the strap fabric and turn a tube right side out. I always use this prime tube turner which makes turning easier. Iron the seam in the middle and then sew the strap to the upper lace of the chemise. Now insert the ribbon to the upper and lower lace. 
Originally, I wanted to leave chemise flowing freely, but in the end, I decided to tighten chemise a little at the waist. At waist level, pin and then sew the tunnel, which you can make from the rest of your cotton fabric. After sewing the tunnel, insert the cotton cord. And now we are done. I think it was quite easy, wasn't it? So thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment and if you want to see more of my videos, you can click on subscribe. Thank you and bye.